grandfather, who was a painter um, when he was alive. Didn't really know him. It's quite romantic, actually, uh, in some ways, because it's one of those old stories where he didn't make a lot of money from painting when he was alive, but since he's died, some of the things he's painted, they now sell for, like, half a million pounds. So, ooh. Yeah, because he used to paint houses. <laughs> so... <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, so anyway, I'm glad he was a painter decorator artist rather than an actual failed, proper failed artist because, uh, I mean, I worry about becoming a failed artist myself. Ever since when I was at school, I learned that Hitler was a failed artist. And I sort of <laughs> thought, that's not a good precedent for failed artists. So if you don't know his history, that's he used to paint, and then it didn't work out, so he ended up doing this other stuff. <laughs> in, instead, like, which he was, which he was better at, but, <laughs> but not a positive moral decision. I'm just saying, it just so happens his talents lied in a way that was very negative for mankind. Uh, he shouldn't have done what he did. I've, you know, that's why you often get asked if you go back and kill him and stop all the suffering from happening. You'd have to kill someone. It's usually bad, but you save a lot of lives through doing that. I usually, if I get asked that question, say that I wouldn't go back in time and kill Hitler. However, I'd, I'd go back and I would keep buying his art. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'd do. I mean, that's, that is, but um, when I found out Hitler was a, a failed artist, I sort of thought it was a one-off. But the more I spend... I've been in the comedy industry for a bit of time now, so I meet people that are comics, they're considered artists, and I've actually met people in the other in the other arts, and I've realised that there people in the arts have a lot of shared traits with Hitler, so it makes perfect sense that he was a failed artist, because you meet artists, they're often quite egotistic, narcissistic people like Hitler was. They're often control freaks and a little bit unhinged like, like Hitler was, but the problem with Hitler, obviously, is, is it didn't work out for him, so he got bitter. But the trajectory makes perfect sense to me that a failed artist turned into Hitler, and I think the next Hitler could very well be another failed artist, which did get me thinking... And I've got a theory. I reckon that there might be time travellers actually out there right now trying to stop the next Hitler. Because my theory is that time travellers are the people that hand out the Turner Prize. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. right. when you see some of the things that win that, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense to me. <laughs> I, I, I remember growing up and, and Damien Hirst won it because he cut a cow in half and put it in formaldehyde. Right? Well, that makes a lot more sense now that the reason he won was because the jury saw that and he won not because they saw that and thought it looked good, but because they saw that and thought, Whoo, we need to make sure this guy stays in a living. <laughs> 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 